In the balmy summer of 1979, the pages of the British tabloid Reveille bore witness to a sensational revelation, propelling readers into the realm of extraterrestrial intrigue. Professor Sergei Boshich, a Soviet astrophysicist, claimed to have unearthed the remnants of a spacecraft from another celestial realm, orbiting our very own planet Earth. The tantalizing prospect of extraterrestrial bodies entwined in this cosmic debris added an otherworldly dimension to the scientific discourse. Boshich asserted that the scientific community first discerned peculiar fragments meandering around Earth in the 1960s. He boldly declared the identification of ten distinct pieces, ominously referred to as drains. Two of these enigmatic fragments boasted dimensions exceeding 30 meters each. Through meticulous observation of their orbits and trajectories, aided by computer analysis, scientists purportedly traced the origins of these celestial wanderers back to a singular event on December event on December 18, 1955. A date laden with cosmic significance. The revelation gained additional credibility through the involvement of Russian science fiction, luminary Alexander Kazantsev. Embracing the role of a ufologist and astrophysics researcher, Kazantsev extrapolated from the largest fragments to postulate the colossal size and multi-floored structure of the original spacecraft. He tantalizingly suggested the possibility of extraterrestrial beings still encapsulated within the ethereal remnants. While skeptics posited the theory that these remains could be mere meteoric fragments, Dr. Vladimir Azhazha, described as an excellent Moscow physicist, vehemently dismissed this notion. Azhazha argued that meteorites lacked discernible orbits, hurtling aimlessly through space without the propensity for spontaneous explosions. According to him, the amassed evidence pointed resolutely towards the shattered remnants of an alien vessel. In a dramatic turn of events, the Russians clandestinely initiated a covert rescue mission aimed at reconstructing the extraterrestrial craft on Earth. This clandestine endeavor, shrouded in secrecy, operated discreetly to avoid public scrutiny and skepticism. Those who dared entertain the notion were met with ridicule, further veiling the operation in an enigmatic cloak. Some astute observers attempted to link this cosmic enigma with an article penned by American scientist John Bagby in the 1969 edition of Icarus magazine. Bagby claimed to have discovered ten small moons forming on the very same date, December 18, 1955, following the fragmentation of a primary celestial body. However, his assertions faced criticism from Belgian astronomer Jean Mies, who dismissed Bagby's story as unfounded. 